chooses the wizard, Mr. Potter. Does a wand choose a wizard's destiny, or does it just know their identity? With numerous combinations of wood and core, like rare holly or thestral hair, there are many mysteries of wand lore to explore. From changing allegiances to twin cores, here's what we know about wands and their masters, and what's still left to be discovered. While you live, the Elder Wand cannot truly be mine. Wands function by their own set of laws. If Ollivander taught us anything, it's that a wand must choose to give its allegiance to a wizard to form a strong connection. Normally, a witch or wizard's first wand is new and created by a wand maker. Certain wands have a natural affinity for certain wizards, dictated by core, wood, length and flexibility. You could also get a wand by winning it, or even stealing it. I sense its allegiance has changed but it won't work for you in the same way since you don't share that connection. Like when Hermione steals Bellatrix's wand to impersonate her and struggles to use it. Would you mind presenting your wand? And why should I do that? Elder Wand is an exception to this rule because it lacks sentimental attachment. Instead, it chooses the wizard who wins it through power and strength. Wands may also be inherited, such as Neville using his father's wand and Ron's hand-me-down wand from his brother Charlie, but these wands are not always very effective. Voldemort's wand and mine sort of connected. Ollivander uses three wand cores, which tell us about the wand's strengths, weaknesses, and identity. Unicorn hair is used by Ron, Neville, and Draco. This core is known for having the most consistent magic, and it's less likely to turn to the dark arts, which may be why Draco's wand easily switched allegiances when Harry won it. Dragon Heartstring is used by Hermione and Bellatrix. It's incredibly powerful and learns quickly, but can be temperamental and easily turn to the dark arts. Illustrating the diversity of a core which can work well for two very different witches. Phoenix Feather is the rarest of the three cores and used by both Harry and Voldemort. They're capable of the greatest range of magic, but picky and hard to win and tame. Harry and Voldemort's cores both come from Fox, making their wands brothers. If they try to duel, the wands form a connection called Priori Incantatum. Because of its rarity, most wizards don't even know about this connection. There are also a few cores Ollivander will not use, like temperamental Vila hair, found in Fleur Delacour's wand, or the prone to darkness Rougarou hair, used by Serafina Pickery. There's also Basilisk horn, which has only been used by Salazar Slytherin. Thestral hair is used in the Elder Wand, though its lore is very mysterious. Just like Thestrals, it's believed only those who have seen someone pass away, usually traumatically, can wield it. Wandwood is most likely to choose someone based on his or her distinct personality. Hermione's wand is made of vine wood, which chooses those who seek greater purpose and surprise people with their skill and passion. Ron's hand-me-down wand was made of ash, which is devoted to its master and shouldn't be passed on. This unwillingness is even worse with a unicorn core. It's no surprise then that Ron had so much trouble with his. My wand! Ron's second wand is made of willow, which has healing properties and is attracted to a wizard with insecurities, but potential. Harry's wand is holly, a rare wood considered protective. Get behind me! It often chooses owners who are engaged in dangerous quests. It's very difficult to pair with a phoenix feather, but the combination is incredibly powerful. Meanwhile, Voldemort's wand is made of a rare yew wood, which has a dark reputation of choosing notorious wizards. And as its name suggests, the all-powerful elder wand is made of elder, and only a great wizard can wield its full strength. I am extraordinary, but the wand Resist me. Size also matters. Longer ones are dramatic and drawn to big personalities, while smaller ones favour elegant spells, and very short ones are sometimes drawn to people who lack something, like skill or confidence. Most ones are between 9 and 14 inches long, but not all. The elder wand is 15 inches, illustrating its immense power. Flexibility predicts a wand's willingness to change allegiances, 
the more flexible, the more it's willing to bend for a new master. Bellatrix's wand is described as unyielding, which is part of the reason Hermione couldn't master it. Draco's wand is described as springy, and Harry easily won it over. This was the wand of Draco Malfoy. But despite what we do know about wands, there's so much that we don't. Wands were invented in Europe and studied for over 2,000 years. Ollivander believes it would take him more than a lifetime to understand them. It's hard to get into the mind of a wand. The wand choosing the wizard could be proof of destiny. They were fated to have that wand. But there's also reason to believe that someone's personal identity is what the wand senses. Is that why a wand may accept a new master? Because it believes there's a better match? For an example of fate versus identity, we can look at Lily and James. James's wand is mahogany, which is great for transfiguration, and he eventually becomes an animagus. Lily's wand is made of willow and great for charms, her most skilled subject. Did the wands help them develop their talents, or were they already destined to be good? It's possible that the wands just picked up on their personalities and chose according to what they might be good at. Basically, the wands took a gamble. It's not always clear why. This is one of the greatest mysteries of wands and begs the question, do wands, even without a wizard, truly have their own identities? We might never be able to answer all these questions, but they're undoubtedly a part of what makes the connection between wizard and wand one of the most complex things in the entire Harry Potter universe. You talk about wands as if they have feelings. What do you think about wands choosing their masters? Let us know what kind of wand chose you in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks for watching.